Hey there, it's Amelia, and in today's video, I'm going to show you how to star your favorite items. That includes your favorite elements and designs, and then I'll also show you how to find your starred items later so that you can use them in a design at another time. So let's get started. So I'm in Canva on my laptop, but if you need to know these steps for the Canva mobile device, I have a separate video on how to star items and find start items using the Canva app. So I'll include a link in the description below if you want to see that video. So from the home page, as you create designs, your home page is going to get filled. If I scroll down, you'll see that my page is starting to accumulate a variety of designs. That's why you'd want to take advantage of the folders in Canva. Now, if you star items, they automatically go into a starred folder. So let's take a look and see how we can star some items and save them in the starred folder. I'll go into an existing design. And this is an existing thumbnail that I created for a YouTube video. And over here on the left, you could see a variety of templates that I could use if I wanted to swap one of my designs out. Now, what if you're working on a design and you see a template that you really like, but you don't want to apply it to your current design? You can just star it and save it for later. So what you would do is just click on this ellipsis, these three little dots, and then you would just click star. So let me go ahead and star a few designs. I started that one and you can easily unstar it just by clicking on it again if you change your mind. And then let's just look down further. Okay, and then I'll also click here and star this one as well. Now, you can also star elements as well. So let me go to a new page, actually, this is fine. I'll just remove this picture here. So let's say we're on a new page. Maybe it's our existing design or we're creating a new page with a new design. And I want to search for some elements. And I'm going to search for light bulb. And there's a variety of light bulbs. You can select graphics, photos, videos, and so forth. So I want to take a look at the graphics for light bulbs. And if you find one you like, then again, you'll want to click on the three dots, the ellipsis. Now this is a pro element. So if you have the free version of Canva, just keep in mind that there'll be a difference with the available elements. I'll click on the ellipsis and I'll click star. So I'll just go ahead and select a photo now and pick a photo that I may want to use later and I'll store that as well. Let's search for a couple more elements. This time I'll search for YouTube and here's some handy graphics that I might want to use later. These are photos but let me switch over to graphics. Okay and you can see that there is a variety of YouTube logos that I may want to use later. So I do like this particular animation. So there are some items, some elements that you will not find the star to. Like I do like this animation. If I do click on the three dots, you'll see that there is no star here. So there are some elements that you will not be able to add to the starred folder. Maybe that will change in the future. So let's pick a different element here. I will start this one and I'll pick one more. Let's go ahead and pick this one here. Okay, now that I've starred several designs and several elements, let's take a look at how you would access your starred items to use in a design later. So here I am back on the home page in Canva. So to access your start items, what you want to do is click projects and then you should see your folders listed nearby. 
Now I could see my star folder here, but if your folders are not visible, you can also click on the folders tab up here and then select starred. Now you'll see the designs that I added recently and the light bulb elements and the YouTube graphics as well. So to use these, let's start with the design. If I wanted to use this particular design, I'll go ahead and click on the design template and it will prompt me to use this template. I'll go ahead and proceed and it automatically will start a new design in that particular size based on that template. And then I would be able to proceed and customize it as needed. So back to the start items, using a start element is a little different. So let's say I click on this light bulb here. It's going to prompt me use in a design. You can also unstar it too from here. So if I click use in a design, it's automatically going to prompt me and ask me what would I like to create. And let's say I select Facebook post landscape. Then we'll automatically size up to that particular design. And then I can move this around and I can crop it and then I can add you know, another design, and then I would have that element to utilize in my design. Now there's one more thing that I like to do personally. Sometimes I like a group of graphics and I would still star them, but I also want to keep them together because sometimes you find graphics that are maybe like it's the same a figure but different expressions and you want to save it all together so what I've done is I'm going to return back to home I have a design here that I just call miscellaneous objects and anytime I find something now this is especially handy with a video or an animation that you can't star you can just add it to a design and then you can use it later by just selecting it and then clicking copy and then switch over to your other design and just paste it. I do that all the time. And then like in this case, I was creating something where I needed some complementary images. So I found all these and I wanted to keep them together. So I just pasted them into this design and so on and so forth. You might see some other elements that you can't star and I just find it easy to just paste them into a design and then you can go back and you can add as many pages as you need and save those items and elements to use in future designs. So that's it for today's video. I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, go ahead and smash the like button and remember to subscribe so you don't miss any new videos. Also, if you'd like to learn more about Canva, I have a brand new course on my course platform. And if you'd like to sign up and try Canva for free, visit this URL and get started with Canva today. I'll see you in the next video. Bye now.